deserve to be up here, but we don't have enough chairs, right, Kev, for the whole team. Um, <laughs> That's right. I want to thank, what a great, you know, you know, great environment today. I want to thank all of you for coming. Um, we really were locked in today. We played a really good team, obviously well coached, and a lot of respect for Seton Hall, Coach Willard. Uh, but I really want to thank, you know, community, students that showed up. It's finals week this week, so it's a crazy week. It's a crazy week for our guys, too. But we were locked in today. I loved our defense, you know, from the opening tip. And uh, every guy contributed. Every guy did what they needed to do. Two days to prepare for a really good team, so I was worried about that. But um, we were locked in from the opening tip, and we played really well on both ends of the floor. Steve, how much was the fast start? Can you contribute to the, the, the fact the building was like that? Well, I mean, the building was great. The most stands since, what, 2000? 2002. 2002. So the most place, you know, place was jumping. You know, from the beginning, I thought our guys got off to a great start, too, which really helped we'll get the fans involved. And, you know, they make it a real tough place to play. And when the rack was jumping like that, all the good things about Rutgers University, you saw it today here, everyone comes together. We could do some really nice things, and my team has come together. They have to sacrifice. Guys, you know, Caleb was starting. He comes off the bench. Whatever you need, coach. You know, guys coming off the bench. Our bench gave us tremendous energy tonight. They gave us some great minutes while our starters were resting. You know, and, and I thought really just a great team win in a great environment. So getting off to a good start was, was important. Steve, what, defensively, what was the key to the game plan? It looked like you extended the pressure to half court and you ran some different guys and bigger guys at Powell. Yeah, I mean, we uh, you know we only had two days, so you can't reinvent the wheel. But we were real connected on the defensive end. So we had a lot of switches if we had to. You know, I thought we were you know real aggressive in all of our coverages. You know, they got really good players. Um, I didn't think they you know got comfortable looks, a couple open threes. I didn't love, but um, you know, I thought thought for the most part we, you know, we were real aggressive on that end of the floor, and everyone subbed in, did a great job, everyone. So we got a lot of different looks for all their guards. Ron, can you take us through the two uh, alley oops early in the game and what that did to the crowd? Uh, you know, it was just the first alley oop. That was just a play. We came out in the huddle. We said we we're gonna run it. If it was there, throw it. You know, Miles found me, and then the second one. Gio just found me from like half court, tremendous pass. He put it up there for me to go get it, and I just came down and the place exploded. Do you have a, a sense, and do you think it's kind of a sense how big this game is as far as the tradition in New Jersey? Um, Seahawks said that he, maybe some of their players didn't realize the Yeah, you know, our guys were driven. They were determined. Um, you know, we're a good basketball program. I think you saw today New Jersey basketball is good. New Jersey basketball is good. And, um, you know, in the environment again, and these guys all played together. I think they knew, you know, when you're playing a ranked team with the best guard in the country, you know, against a team like that, you, you got to be ready to play, and we were ready to play. Steve, to follow that up the atmosphere here, and then also Prince played after you today. How, how much of a benefit is that for New Jersey's most to play one another, and how much more does a game like this contribute to the potential? Effort? Yeah, I mean, I just think when you get two really good programs, you know, we're, we're getting there too, and, and uh, you know, bring all the people in the basketball community, you know, here to to Rutgers, vice versa. When we go to Seton Hall, it's good. You get to see some really good basketball. Hopefully people keep coming and watch, you know, some really good programs continue to grow. Kevin uh, Willard said Powell uh, is being treated for a serious concussion. Did any of you guys see any anything from him that indicated that he wasn't quite right on the floor? Uh, I saw him on his head. Yeah, I said just something grabbing his head. For speed yeah, I hope he's all right. He's an heck of a competitor and a really good player. You never want to see anyone, uh, you know, be injured for a game. So I hope he gets he gets better soon. I know you have the, the one of the one game at a time mantra, but can, can this something like this be a, a turning point, be a spark for? for yeah, I mean, month? you know, we're getting there. We had most people ever, you know, place was rocking. I think we got a good team. You know, this university is exploding. I keep saying that. Um, you know, it was nice to have everybody come together. You know, I know my son was even just took a final and he run out and ran over and students were there. And, you know, all the different things that, you know, have to happen to make a place loud. And, you know, you got to have great administrators, you got to have great fans, you got to have cheerleaders, the bands, you know, all the different things that, that go into this thing. And then you got to have a team that's willing to sacrifice, and take on roles and pass the ball. And, you know, and to play with great energy, you know, and, and to do the things, and they practice hard. The last three, four practices, they've been really 
focused and, you know, really trying to find themselves. So I think these are great things. And I said, we've got great momentum here at, at Rutgers. We really do, academically, basketball-wise, athletic-wise. So there's a lot of good things happening. So we can continue that trend. Steve, what do you think of the way your players attack the glass and also the 50-50 balls in this game? Yeah, I mean, I thought we did an awesome job up at the backboard numbers. You know, they're big. They're one of the biggest teams in the country, you know, physically. And, uh, you know, I thought from the start we really, you know, that was a very much a concern for me. After watching all the tapes of them, they, they, they tend to get a lot of long rebounds too because they're so tall. Um, you know, but I thought we were locked in and we stayed attached, you know, the whole time. It helped us run, especially in the first half too, those long rebounds. Steve, Kevin mentioned the Quasi's experience as an impact on – game well on for your team and against his as well. What have you seen from him now between the Wisconsin game and today coming into the lineup? How much more of a spot is he? Well, I mean, you know, he's, he's just mature. You know, he gives us some maturity about him. And, you know, he can really shoot the ball, I think, as good a shooter um, as there is. So we can post him. We can do a lot of different things. But uh, his maturity has really, you know, has really helped. He gets locked in. He comes to practice every day. The te they love him. The teammates, I think these guys are really, you know, Enjoying, enjoying what he brings, and he's figuring it out too. He's figuring it out too with a new team and stuff. So, he's been a nice addition. Guys, what was it? Any of the players? What was it like uh, collecting that trophy? Gio has done it before. This is new for you guys. What was that like? Mm, it was been the court storm. It was unbelievable. You know, last year we dropped this game. You know, it was a hard fought game. But this year, you know, being a Jersey kid, this game meant a lot to me. And getting that win out and pulling it out just meant the world to me. For Gio and Ron, I'm just curious. Did it sound louder than? than usual that they did sneak a few more people in there to be telling them? Yeah, it was, it was definitely really loud. Um, you know, we really appreciate that a lot. You know, all the fans came out and, uh, you know, the student section was great. And um, it just felt right. You know, it felt right. The win felt right. Steve, what do you think of the way Jalen Brown has played this year? Um, just really like the energy that he brings to the team. Um, you know, he's just really good. Just like you know, the energy that he brings to the team. Um, you know, the students, all the fans in general, there's like times where you can't even hear the play being called. You can't hear screen cover. So that's the type of atmosphere you want to make regularly at the rack. And I think the students are doing just that. To hear the crowd the way it was, to have a win over a team that was predicted to win the Big East, what does this tell you about where the team is right now, where the program is right now? Um, but I think I think we're in a good spot. Um, you know, we got to continue to get better. Um, you know, we're going to enjoy the win, but at the same time, it's a bigger goal in mind. We'll on to the next one. Yeah, but you just said, you know, this is a big win. We're going to enjoy it today. But, you know, it's on to the next one after this, you know, trying to go one and know each and every day, whether it's practice, off day, lift, you know, trying to go one and know every single day. So you have said several times about enjoying the journey and the ups and downs with a young team. Where is this particular leg on the journey? No, I mean, just uh, we just had a four-game gauntlet. Like, we had a tough stretch here. And, uh, you know, just think if they continue with the right approach to practice and getting better every day. I mean, we're young, but, you know, we have some pieces. And, Put the right pieces in at times, and they have to sacrifice. I mean, that's part of it. But it's it's all part of a journey. I mean, you have to go through some ups and downs in order to get better. Luckily, these guys stay the course; they get better. And uh, if they continue to do that, it'll be a real, f really fun journey. For any of the players, Miles talked about after the Wisconsin game that that was a needed game, and you guys got it. How much more important was this one going in off the win Wednesday night, and knowing what the atmosphere was going to be? Uh, we were just trying to carry momentum from Wednesday night and bring it down to the court here. You know, Wednesday night I felt like we played terrific defense, and tonight here today too, I thought we played really good defense. So we're just trying to carry out the momentum. We know. All right, should be good. We'll let really you appreciate down. you guys coming. Yes.